Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to make a cloth simulation in Marvelous Designer and export the vertex animation into iClone. If you're unfamiliar with how to create clothing in Marvelous Designer, please refer to the second tutorial in this series. Let's start off by importing the unclothed character into CC and applying our Kung Fu animation to it as a preview. We then want to ensure it's in an A pose, which is crucial for properly mapping the cloth created in Marvelous Designer to the character. Before we export the model for simulation, we recommend going into Edit Mesh and deleting the unnecessary arm mesh. This step isn't completely necessary, but since our design is sleeveless and does not interact directly with the arms, it makes it easier to observe the cloth simulation later on and also improves simulation performance and accuracy. Then let's go up and export the model via the Blender pipeline, being sure to choose Model with Motion in the presets, which will export the character and animation together. Next up is doing the cloth simulation in Marvelous Designer. We'll start by importing our original FBX, being sure to check Joint Animation in the Import Options. We then need to use the Tack on Avatar function to manually set anchor points, pinning the cloth to the character at the desired points. The next step is to select the fabrics from the inner layers to the outer layers and set their layer values. So the pants will be set as layer 1, the top as layer 2, the bottom as layer 3, and finally the belt as the outer layer 4. We're going to use a custom simulation quality preset and set the quality to 3. We can also uncheck GPU simulation, which can speed up the simulation time but may cause slight differences in the simulation result compared to CPU simulation. The choice is up to you here. From there, let's click Record Animation to begin the cloth simulation. Once it's done, we can play back to preview the results to ensure there are no issues. After that, we can select all of the fabrics and export them together as an Alembic ABC file, which contains objects and the animated positions of each vertex, generally a more professional format for saving animation when compared to FBX. Ensure that you set the scale to centimeters in the export settings to be compatible with iClone, as well as play region only to restrict the export to the time range of the simulated animation. Now we're ready to import and render in iClone. If we apply an animation to our character, the clothes will not animate along with the model, as they're currently a static mesh with no animation data. To solve this, we can import the ABC file we just exported from Marvelous Designer and apply it to the clothing mesh, being sure to select the default Y-axis to conform with Marvelous Designer's default setting. You'll now notice a vertex animation track in the timeline, containing the cloth simulation data clip. Another way to do this, if you don't have the cloth mesh imported yet, is to import the ABC file alone, as it also contains the object data. However, ABC files don't store material information, so you'll need to reassign all of that manually if you do it this way. Generally, the easiest way to do this is to simply click and drag each individual texture map to its proper channel in the Material tab of the Modify panel. You can then preview once again to check the results. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.